A new study has begun to measure the long-term impact of vaping on the body's cardiovascular system. While smokers have been encouraged to turn to vaping, the long-term health effects remain unclear. In a laboratory at Manchester Metropolitan University, they're assessing the quality of Jack's arteries. He is a student here, one who used to smoke but now vapes, the ideal participant for a study into what e-cigarettes do to the body in the short and long term. This study will look at the chronic and the acute effect of using the vape uh, on the vascular health. So the vascular health, which is the blood, the blood vessel quality, we know exactly the long-term impact of the smoking behaviour on the vascular, the cardiovascular health. But for the e-cigarette, is not the case yet. But from clinical dis uh, discussion with clinical uh, experts, they mentioned already they've they've seen some symptoms about coughing or chest pain or lung dysfunction. So we can see the early marker of this dysfunction of using the vape at the moment. Having been assessed, Jack steps outside to vape. The study will measure those who vape against those who smoke and those who do neither. Jack wants to break his vape addiction. It's been three years since I've started vaping. I'd say it's probably more addictive than cigarettes for me. And with the accessibility of having it on your pocket and ordinary person at all times, it just makes it a lot harder to stop. And the study comes at a time of intense debate about the rights and wrongs of vaping and whether laws need to change. And some do see mixed messages from the government on the issue of vaping. On the one hand, encouraging adults to take it up as an alternative to smoking, while on the other, discouraging young people from starting at all. What everyone agrees is that research like this is desperately needed. It's definitely much less harmful than smoking, but that doesn't mean to say it's risk-free, and we do need longer-term research to, sh to, to show what the impact is. Um, and so that people who've never smoked know what risks they're putting themselves to by vaping. This is exactly that sort of long-term research. It will be 18 months before they publish the results, time in which many more will become addicted. Greg Milam, Sky News, Manchester.